Welcome back to the Common Gourmet. Today's recipe is a simple but eminently variable dessert. My wife has always loved rice pudding and for years the only recipe that I really had was the custard style where you, you bake it in the oven. She was always wanting more of a, a an actual pudding, American style pudding I should say. Went creamy, soft. So after much experimentation and many different recipes and variations I have found what I think to be one of the best and no we don't put raisins in it so uh, let's go make some rice pudding alrighty we have a nice heavy bottom saucepan here I like to start mine off between medium and low and here we have a cup and a half of cooked white rice to that we are going to add a cup and a half of milk a third of a cup of sugar and a quarter teaspoon of salt Pretty much any white rice will do here. Medium and short grain rice uh, have a better starch molecule for this. You'll end up with a thicker, creamier end result. But I have long grain rice and it works. You can use 2% milk all the way up to about 18. If you use much higher of a fat content, it, it actually becomes a little too... I don't know how to describe it. it it's, it's almost like you're trying to eat fat with rice in it and if you go below two percent it just almost never thickens so we're going to start this off like i said on my between medium and low stirring constantly not constantly but quite frequently as soon as i see steam coming off i like to kick it up to about medium <clears throat> you can cook it on medium the whole time if you want as long as you're stirring frequently the point here is to reduce the water in the milk and to pull out the starch molecules in the rice you can see i've got a, a heavy simmer going here it's not really a full rolling boil you don't want a full rolling boil you want to cook this i usually find once the steam starts about 15 minutes you want it to thicken but not uh not burn or scorch just keep stirring until it's as thick as you like if you don't like super thick pudding then you know just thicken it up a bit you're fine now normally in a pudding or custard stirred you would temper in an egg we're gonna get around that we're gonna cheat I've gotten one whole egg and I've beaten it with a half a cup of cold milk now once the base mixture is as thick as we like it we are going to slowly pour in that egg and milk mixture, stirring well the whole time. Once that is in, I always set the timer for this, but I cook it for exactly two minutes. Of course, I'll check. If at two minutes it could use just another ten seconds, that's fine, but I would not recommend going over two and a half. If this comes to a boil or if you just cook the eggs too long, you're going to end up with a mess of scrambled eggs, rice, and funky milk. That's just nasty. I don't, once again, you don't need to stir it constantly, but you do need to stir it pretty consistently. You can stir it constantly. It will not hurt anything. Now, at this point, I've turned off the heat. I am going to add a tablespoon of butter. Actually, I'm adding a tablespoon of margarine because, you know, it's what I got. Butter is definitely a flavor enhancer for this particular dish, but the margarine works. Make sure you do get that completely integrated in. Any little pool that makes, uh, well, an unpleasant surprise when you're eating later. Once the butter's mixed in, we are going to add vanilla. How much vanilla, you ask? That's right. Skidoosh! Or a half teaspoon if you have to have an exact measurement. I probably put in about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. I like vanilla. You definitely want to add this last. Vanilla. Vanilla, whether it is uh, real or artificial, is alcohol-based, and the alcohol will evaporate. And if you're cooking while adding it, you will lose some of the vanilla flavor. Now, you can see I've sprinkled a little nutmeg over the top of these. You can serve these hot, you can serve these warm, or you can serve them cold. If you're going to store them for very long... Take plastic wrap and place over the top and actually press it onto the surface to avoid that skin. Add the spices you like, cinnamon, nutmeg, whatever, raisins if you really got to have it, go for it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this, and uh, until next week, uh, happy cooking. <laughs>